okay, I'm going to assume you've got your Visual Studio call code all set up for Python. And so we've gone to a directory with a single little test Python program for this. And the first thing we need to do is create a virtual environment. And we'll tell code to use that. All right. So we'll get rid of this terminal and log a new one on, and it should show us that we're within the virtual environment, which we are. Now, the next thing to do, I have a, a pip manager installed here. So you'll see that the only thing that we have right now is probably an old version of pip and an old version of setup tools. So we'll go ahead and update those. Okay, to install Alpica, it's very simple. I'm going to do it from the command line here. Pretty soon we should see those new modules show up in here. Yep. Okay, so let's open our test program. Let's just take a quick look at this. Um, these are imports from the Alpica library. Just the telescope. This is what we're going to do with this is connect to a telescope SLU, and then we're going to do something that will cause an error which will be turning the tracking off and then try a slew. And we should get a nice error message from the mount indicating that it can't be slewed with the tracking off. That's about as simple as it gets. As you can see, this is very mostly print, just to tell you what's going on. The Alpaca telescope I'm connecting to is the Omni simulator on this same machine, localhost, on port 32323. So now I'm just going to run this Python program, and we'll see what happens. It's slewing to a point two hours east of the meridian. Let's see. Okay, there it is. Done. Connect it to the simulator. Starting and completing the slew, and it went to where I wanted it to. And then it turned off tracking and tried to slew again. And here the try, when it did the second slew, slew to coordinates async, um, it failed and it didn't get to this, you won't get here. Instead, it got over here to the exception. So you can see that the telescope threw an exception across Alpaca and that got turned back into a proper Python exception, and we got this uh, nice message. This came from the telescope. This did not come from within my program. And same with the type of exception that came from the scope. In this case, again, the simulator, but you can get the idea. This is it. This is how you can use Alpaca to talk, I'm sorry, Alpica to talk to a telescope. And of course, the library contains um, stuff for all of the devices, not just telescopes. The Alpica documents are on the ASCOM website. Remember, you just installed it with pip install Alpica. So, so where are the documents? Go to the ASCOM website, documents, go down here to Alpica package for applications, jump, and you're there. I should point out by the way, that there's also PDF document that you can download. Anyway, the live documents are pretty nice. So to go learn, let's say, about telescopes, by the way, I should point out that this quick start is really important. There's a simple example, and by the way, that's the one I just showed you, uh, but there's things you should probably know before getting going, and then uh, go to the device classes. And so for telescope, 
You can go here. Here is the whole telescope API. And you'll notice this is similar to the master API that's been out for a long time written in the Windows HTML help. But this is all redone and actually expanded. So everything you wanted to know about the ASCOM interfaces because they're the same in Alpaca as they are in COM, you can learn what you need to here. Although the variable types and the, the syntax here is aimed at Python. But anyway, um, so for example, slew to coordinates async. It shows here that it's non-blocking and what to use to find out if it's been finished, etc. So everything you need to know uh, for programming any type of ASCOM device via Alpaca is available in the docs for the Alpaca library. It also covers discovery, the server management, which if you're doing a, a, uh, uh, an app, you can get to the server where you set up the settings and so forth. Um, I'm not going to go into all that. I just wanted to give you a flavor for how simple it is to do this. And there's also an FAQ in here. And this is a big one here. So anyway, this is it. This is uh, where you get it. Here's the docs. And hopefully this will get you started on the right foot.